Hi folks, I wanted to modify our post processor so that at the very top, there was a timestamp that told me when I posted that code. Super helpful, especially when you're doing minor tweaks or prototyping to make sure you've got the newest version. So let's show how we did that. First thing before we do any post work is open up the post and then file save as and fork it off. Here I've got it called a Tormach time test.cps. That way it's forked off, it's not our main post. Then Google is your friend. I typed in Fusion 360, how to add time to post. And sure enough, we got a good forum post courtesy of Seth Medor. We actually have a video tour of Seth's shop. He's an awesome guy. He's done a ton to pay it forward, sharing knowledge, uh, and runs a really great uh, job shop up in Maine. And in it are the two key lines of code that we need because I'm not a post processor expert, I'm not a JavaScript programmer, but we can all figure out how to do this with examples like this. So we need to add a variable here, and then we need to add this line of code. Now the key to, to this whole workflow is the power of Visual Studio. Card here to the page where we walk through how to not only download and install it, it's free, but also, and it's key to this, is a couple of the add-ins that make this so powerful because I'm not an expert and I don't wanna read through a 1700 line post to figure out where to do something. So we need to start with adding a var or variable. And if we go back to our Tormach post, search var, we'll see a list of variables. I'm gonna paste that generally anywhere in the list. Variables are usually toward the top of a program and the order that they're listed in usually isn't going to matter. Now the trickier thing is where do we add the code to get the timestamp shown at the top of our program. And unfortunately, the forum post here doesn't really help. It just says, and then further down, you'll need to add this line. So I'll copy that line, um, but here's where Visual Studio shines. I'm gonna expand this Explorer in the top left, and I'll expand CNC selector, milling, drilling, and wrap it out. What this does is it posts a quick sample program because I don't care about my Fusion code. I just want a sample G code program that's gonna give me this code to see. And what's amazing is I can double click, in this case on the program name, and it shows me exactly where that line of code in the post processor was that created that output line in the G code. This is just an absolute huge tool. We've done some other videos on modifying posts that you can check out over on nyccnc.com. I'm going to paste in that Seth's line of code, and then I'm also gonna do write comment, JWS testing, and I'll put the date. And I do this because sometimes there's a problem with the line that we pasted in or something's incompatible, and this comment line should come through, and it's really helpful if you're, if you're trying to troubleshoot. Now, if we hit Control S to save it, our sample G code will automatically repost, and look, we're basically good to go. We see our comment line is already in there. And then above it, we see it's a little bit of a strange format, but 3-8-2021, today's March 8th, 2021. So at this point, I can comment out or even just delete my comment line. And we can now start taking a closer look at Seth's line and we can see, okay, I don't need the get month and I don't need the get date and I don't need the full year. So I really just want the get hours and get minutes. Hit Control S to save again. And look, there we go. 13.08 or 1.08, we're done. Two last things though we could do though to improve this even further. Let's add a description that says time posted colon. Let's see if that works. Perfect. Helps us explain or clarify what that exactly is. And then you might have noticed that when we had the full date in there, we weren't getting the forward slashes. And this is a issue with whether your post has what are called permitted characters. So if you search for permitted comment cares, you'll see a whole string starting with a space through the uh, alphabet along with some special characters. And all you'd need to do if you're not getting a colon or a forward slash is add that missing character in there like so. It can be super rewarding to modify a post to get it to do just exactly what you want it to do. We've got some good basic post editing content over on nyccnc.com. Otherwise folks, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed. Take care, see you soon.